Hello. In this video, I'd like to talk about the video that the developers released about the ship sounds from the Citizen Gone panel. Just a fair warning, I'm going to talk about the st stuff that I do not like. Keep it short, because if I would talk about the things I do like about the audio in this game, the video would take probably three hours or more. Okay, so now we are back in the cockpit and I'm cruising along with a thousand meters per second. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to slow the ship down uh, quickly. And what is going to happen is eventually you're going to hear a, a whining sound that's slowly pitching higher and higher and higher until the thrusters overheat and then the engine shuts down for a moment. Okay, let's take a listen. I would like you to listen to this, but close your eyes and look away from the monitor for the next um, for the next time. Okay, here we go. Okay, did you notice how that sound was building up basically in your head between your ears? It wasn't coming from the back of the ship, it was right there with you in the cockpit. And I think that is not a good idea. And I think developers actually talked about it, that they wanted to envelope, envelope the player in audio so the player feels more in the ship, but I think that's kind of... Um, it's kind of backfiring on the game because for the ship to have believable realism in terms of locational audio, there's 80 meters of steel and other materials between the player and the main engine. So whatever he should hear from that overheating, it should come from way back in the engine, but it's right there in the cockpit with the player. And I think that's a problem for immersion. The next thing I'm going to do is I will accelerate really quickly with full afterburner. What you should hear after some time is a very noisy and I think very intrusive sound. It sounds like a, a whip cracking. And again, it's going to be right between your ears. It's not going to be filtered through any ship sounds. It's going to be right in your face. Okay, let's do it. Actually, that was not the sound that I was looking for. Yeah, that was the sound I was looking for when the afterburner suddenly turns off. Yeah. Because it also allows the player to, if, if the audio indication is not so intrusive, it allows the player to actually investigate problems with his ship and finding them out on his own. Like should he pay attention to what's rumbling in the back? Should his crewman, who is maybe in the back of the hammerhead, tell him what's going on? Or should he maybe check the MFD more often, have the right MFD open to see if something's wrong with the ship? But all of that investigative gameplay that makes you pay attention to different systems, it kind of gets to... Um, pushed aside by an over-intrusive audio message that kind of removes um, these other things from uh, paying attention to. I think the um, devs should allow the game to um, 
obscure information like that from the player a bit more so he can listen to the ship a bit more especially on the airman for example let, let's take a walk you can listen to all this nice locational audio here coming from the left now if we go past this fuel pipe you can hear the um, i presume that's fuel getting pumped through the pipes yeah, that's a beautiful locational audio it's only there if you're actually near it, and the further away you go, the more it gets attenu attenu attenuated. As you walk through the ship, there's all these different sounds that go in and fade out again. So why shouldn't the engine be this deep rumble that gets slowly, not slowly, that gets filtered through the ship to the pilot? Because I think audio realism has already entered pop culture, so the developers shouldn't worry too much about um, making the game easy enough so the audio realism doesn't get in the way of something, get, doesn't get in the way of it. For example, players expect realistic creaking sounds, they expect realistic footsteps, they expect realistic clicking sounds, realistic airlock sealing and air compressors pumping air into the room. And then I think players will also expect realistic audio filtering that transfers most of the audio into ship vibration and it gets filtered to 90 meters of ship before it gets to the pilot. 